Hi, so this is going to be partially a Photoshop help video and partially a wallpaper engine help video. Um, so this is a, a wallpaper by another creator, and if you see this video I can show you how to fix these problems that I'm going to point out. They're not major problems, they're just small things that I notice when I look at wallpapers or other image compositions, uh, and they're pretty easy to fix. So this is just a, cut, uh, a pop out of the animation. <coughs> If we zoom in on Photoshop, this is just a still image taken from it, there are two problems. The first one is not hard to fix, but it takes effort to fix it, and that's this jaggy cutout line. So this is called aliasing. <coughs> this is because I'm assuming this character was cut out with the uh, either quick selection or uh, magic wand tools and then the selection was expanded to try and capture more. Doing that cuts into the character as opposed to just taking away the background. So to fix that you basically just have to use a different tool, and I'll go over that in a little bit. The second problem, and this is very common in a lot of cutouts, and it's sort of to do with how Wallpaper Engine imports images, is this, if you look very carefully at the edge of her hair, and technically speaking this would be all around the character, but you wouldn't be able to see it on the white on white, or the light color background, but specifically along the edge of her hair you can see there's a white speckly line. So this line is called fringe, I don't know why it's called fringe, I don't know who named it or what it means, but uh, most people I know refer to it as fringe. Uh, it's an artifact of making something transparent it, that's not fully, like... It's like a gradient of making something transparent. It's not fully transparent, but it kind of is, so when you import it into something, it renders it, even though it's not supposed to be. Um, so that's actually very easy to fix if there's a small amount of it, uh, and you kind of fix it at the same time you're doing the fix for the aliasing. Uh, so this is my Cora demo. I've used it a few times. Uh, this is the original image she came from. I, I have already gone and done all of this because this would take me a very long time to do this demo live. Uh, so sometimes you'll find a complicated background image, sometimes you will find a not-so-complicated background image, and sometimes you'll find a character that's just on a white background. Uh, if you're looking for images online, you'll probably have seen all of these types of things. Sometimes there's clouds, sometimes there's varying degrees of backgrounds, depending on what the artists draw. Um, so there's a few ways you can cut things out. I'm going to start with this white one, and you can use the magic wand tool, and you just click, and it'll make a selection, and then you just delete your selection, and you'll end up with a cutout of your character. Uh, you can do the same thing with the quick selection tool. You can quick select an area. I had the wrong layer selected. <coughs> quick so why isn't it working? Quick select, there we go, an area. You can shift click, you can add more of an area. This is Photoshop kind of approximating based on color and surrounding pixels what it thinks you want to select. And you can refine this edge, you can change where it is, but you'll see already, based on the tolerances that I have set, it will miss areas and it will do things. You can fix that. It's very hard to fix it. I don't I don't recommend using this tool at all. I, I hate it, personally. Uh, it's used for selecting like broad ranges of things, not fine edge selection. Same with the magic wand tool. <coughs> um, the other tools, there are other things like you can select by color range, so I could go in here and select color range of this, and I can fiddle with the fuzziness and it will select this area up here, but if I were to actually delete stuff, it won't select all of the colors. You, you can add those colors in but having this color near this color will cause problems. Um, color selection is useful, again, not for cutting out characters. And then the last two things are the lasso tool and the pen tool. So the lasso tool, there's three variants. There's the magnetic lasso tool. It makes a guess based on Photoshop's AI stuff where it thinks you want the line to go based on where your mouse is near. If I finish this basic selection. 
it's inside the line for some reason instead of outside the line. It misses parts. It's a very rough approximation. Again, there are settings you can use to change how often it makes a point and where it places the point. It's not great for, for precision. Uh, there's the regular lasso tool, which is a tool that if you had the dexterity and accuracy of a surgeon, you might be able to do something with, but if you at any point in time unclick, it will complete your selection. And it's basically a nightmare. I would never recommend using the lasso tool. Uh, it's used for selecting very quick, broad areas. And the last one is the polygon lasso tool. I assume most people, if you're new to Photoshop, use the polygon lasso tool quite a bit for selecting things, because it's actually pretty good. I used it for a very long time. You can come in and just draw very approximate shapes around your character to cut them out. And I'm not going to do the whole thing, obviously, but you do that, and then you can cut out this character. Boom, you have a nice, you know, approximate line of where you want your cutout to be. Um, so you, you use the lasso tool quite a bit, but the upgrade to the lasso tool is the pen tool. If you like doing the kind of image editing that I do, and if you've found these videos at all, the lasso tool is your best friend. It's exactly the same as the polygon tool, it just has more options. It's slightly harder to use. You have to learn how these, these are called French handles. You can manipulate them to change the bends. You can do different things. It does take, it, it's harder to use than the polygon lasso tool, but it's not hard to learn and it will be way better. It is your best friend for cutting out characters. So all you do is you go around and you match the curves just inside the line. And you can see I'm not clicking right now, but I can continue going. I can also change my tool, do something, come back to the pen tool, click on this line again, and then just keep going where I left off. I can even close and save this document I can reopen it and come back into it and just keep going where I left. You don't have to do it all in one. If you're using the polygon lasso tool and say I get halfway done my character and I'm like, oh, I need to take a break, and I stop, it's going to make a selection and it's it's gone. All of your work you did to get to this point is gone. With the pen tool, it's just it's a path. You can always come back to it. Even if I don't like it, I can just delete this point and put a point here instead and then move this point here and then adjust the curves and then, oh, I'm back to where I was before. So the pen tool is great. It's a little bit of a more steep learning curve, but if you like this kind of in image editing, you have to learn how to use the pen tool. It will get you your best cutout, bar none. It's not even comparable versus the uh, quick selection and the magic wand. Um, so I have, again, I've, I've done all of this already because I wanted to save some time. I don't want this to be a super long video. But uh, these are all of the selections that I made of the characters. <clears throat> so this was the gradient character that I used the quick selection to cut out. And there are two weird things. I've actually never seen this before prior to recording this video. I don't know if it'll show up on YouTube, but there's actually a second line right here. I have no idea what causes this, but this is all the way around the whole character. It's like there's a, a second halo that was cut out around the character. So I don't even, I don't even know what caused this. Uh, I don't know how you would fix this other than just not using this tool. But as you can see, there's an outline uh, all the way around the character. And this is not fringe that I was talking about before. This is literally just... The tool is not set up to make a precise cut. You could probably tweak it to make a more precise cut, but my settings were not set up properly. So it just guesses and goes around the outside of your character, and it will leave this like one pixel wide color change border. Uh, the second way, this was the magic wand tool. <clears throat> it does essentially the same job as the quick selection tool. It will miss areas, it will make a best guess, and it will leave an outline around your character. So again, I don't recommend the magic wand or the quick selection. Both of them are imprecise at best. This third one was the magic wand tool again, but I 
deleted more of it. So it's just pushing the boundary that I selected further inside the character. Again, it's not great. It's going to cut off parts of the hair. You're going to get this aliased, jagged edge. This is, um, if we go back to here, that's what causes this, is going further into the character with the selection. You don't want to do that. You just want to make a precise selection with the pen tool. Um, so this is a pen tool cutout. Now this has a white line, but this is actually the fringe. This is not the white background. This is a problem with the transparency mask of the image, and I guess to the untrained eye, there's no real way to tell them apart if you just don't know what they are. But uh, how you get rid of this, and so this is the last one, this is the fixed version. These are the same image, but this one's fixed. Um, They're both cut out with the pen tool. This one has tiny little spots of fringe around the edge in some select parts. This one, I have fixed it and removed the fringe. So this is a clean, somewhat crisp cutout. It does not have the white highlights, and it does not have parts cut into the character. So to fix the fringe, what you'd do is, this is my, I'm going to disable this mask, disable this layer, so now we just have this layer showing. I can delete this pen line. So you would cut out all the way around your character, everywhere around your character, and then make a mask, and then fill that mask. Uh, so you come around your character, and then fill in your selection. So you go all the way around, and then you would fill in this area, right click, fill path, black. And it'll fill in all of the area that you're not selecting. So you're left with a mask that looks like your character. And then we can come back into this layer, and it will hide the parts that are black, which is all of the masked off parts. You then apply your layer mask, and if you import this right now, you will get this one with the fringe outline, because it doesn't like the very, very hard edge that the mask gives it. I think this is a problem with Wallpaper Engine, I'm not sure. Uh, so to fix that, you control click your layer to make a selection of your character. Then you select, modify, contract by one pixel. If it's a very, very large image, you could go in by two pixels. I normally go in by one. You then select inverse, which is control shift I as a shortcut. And now you're selecting, you're actually selecting the transparent part. You're selecting everything except for your character one pixel in. And then you go filter, blur, or sorry, filter, blur, blur. Then you can hit control F. Control F just repeats your last filter input. And now the very outside single pixel layer, uh, single pixel outline of your character has been blurred slightly. When you save that, It'll bring it in, but it'll get rid of this fringe. And now there might be a tiny, tiny, tiny amount, but nobody will, unless I specifically zoom in and show you, like there's a tiny little highlight of gray right here, you would never see that if you zoomed out. Um, but you will see this from quite far away. You can probably see what I'm pointing at here and, and around her hair and around her shoulder. Um, yeah, so don't use the quick selection. Don't use the, the uh, magic wand. Use the pen tool. It is your best friend. It does take time. It would probably take me 20 minutes to half an hour, maybe longer, to cut out a single character. I have hundreds of wallpapers. I have cut out hundreds of characters. I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm fairly quick at it. It just takes time. It, the more effort you put into cutting out your character, the better a cutout you will have at the end. Um, so I hope that helps. It is a fixable thing. The jaggy lines, you would basically have to redo your texture and cut it out more precisely. The fringe, you can get rid of just by blurring the outermost pixel. So I uh, hope that helps. Thanks.